I'm going to show you how to use hide my email. Okay, so I took some time to get to know hide my email and I'm going to share what I found. If you want to use hide my email to protect you from spam or to have a tighter level of control over the kind of emails that you receive, which I think all of us do at some point, there's a couple of things that have to be done first. The devices you're going to use need to be signed in with your Apple ID. Also, you have to be subscribed to at least the lowest level of iCloud Plus, which in America is 99 cents. If you're a member of a family sharing plan, then you will also have access to hide my email. So I'm going to walk you through how to use hide my email using my iPad mini here, but it works more or less the same on the iPhone and also on the Mac. Okay, so when you start with Safari, let's find a place where we can put in an email to get their newsletter or coupons or some other thing. There it is. Get the latest deals and more. Okay, so when I touch in, it'll show me both my current iCloud email address, but it also has a hide my email button. That's what we want to click. Touch that and it comes up with this nice little card that lets you create a new proxy email. In this case, it says minute rakes. But if you look closely next to that, there's a little curly Q arrow. And if you touch that, you can get another random email. And you can keep going until you find one that you like. Truth be told, it doesn't really matter which one you use. You're not going to be passing these around to a lot of people. So it's not really important. They make it very easy to just click the use button and set it all up. So we'll do that. We click use. And it puts my new proxy email in place. I'll click sign up. And now I'm ready to receive marketing emails from Best Buy through hide my email. Okay, so what happens next? Now that I've created the hide my email account, I can check out my mail. When I go into my mailbox, I'll find all the correspondence that came through hide my email in my normal iCloud email account, whichever email account I chose to forward to. Here's one from The Gap, giving me 25% off my next purchase. And you'll notice that the to line is sent to hide my email. If I touch the to line twice, it'll tell me specifically which hide my email address it sent it to, if you should want to know what that is. One thing to note, if I try to reply to an email that came through hide my email, like this, it's actually going to be sent from my legitimate account. So be careful. These hide my emails are currently set up to be one way only if you want to keep things secret. Next, how do we view all of the hide my emails and manage them, right? Our first stop is in settings. Once in settings, touch your iCloud account, it's your name at the top, and then touch iCloud. In the iCloud listing, you'll find a new hide my email option. Touch that and it'll present for you all of the hide my emails that you have. And you'll see the one I just created for Best Buy, one for Gap, and one for Target, and it shows where my hide my emails are going to forward to. If you touch one of them, you can choose to change the label, you can change a note, and you can deactivate. So let's practice deactivating. Once I've deactivated, I'm going to have a section in here that says inactive addresses. The inactive addresses is akin to the trash can on your desktop or the way trash is managed with your emails. It's a place where things go before they're actually permanently deleted. If you enter inactive addresses and then touch on the address that you used, you can delete it permanently or reactivate it. So this is where we also have to be careful. If you create an account with some organization that's important to you and you permanently delete the email address, there's really no way to get it back. That means that if they try to use email to authenticate who you are, you can't. So just be aware of that before you delete things permanently. Okay, I deleted it. And now it's gone from the list. So that gives you a basic round trip of how you can create an account, use it to receive emails, and then manage or erase them. Another way that you can create an account is here in the Hide My Email Settings panel. You can touch Create a New Address and you'll get the same hide my email box to come up. You can use, use different address, 
to get a new random selection, and you can put your own label and your own note. Basically, you can create a new email account and then use it in places where Safari isn't going to be able to fill it in for you. I'll put in what I want to call it. And a nice note. And once I've created it, it'll add it to my list just as if Safari had created it on its own. So one of the reasons it took me a little while to get this video done was because I ran into trouble doing this on Monterey. I found that Safari would create hide my emails for me and I could view them in system preferences but I didn't have the ability to deactivate them. And when I reached out to Apple they showed me images of the same settings page that had buttons that mine did not. So I suspect that this is a one of those features, one of those bugs that has to get solved with updates over time. I'm not using the beta, I'm using the public release of Monterey version 12.01 and 12.1 is apparently in beta now and probably will come out in the next week or so. Perhaps I'll take another look at that time. I hope this makes hide my email a little bit more approachable. Once you get into using it and you're ready to use it for each recipient that you want to send out to, it could be a big time saver when it comes to getting rid of unwanted marketing emails. Anyway, thanks for watching.